This week, the diorama case goes from rough cut frame to final glue up. I also need to come up with another hand crank system because the other one, well, I just blew it. It just didn't work. So we'll take a look at why. shaping, I'm going to head over to the router and put a rabbit in these for the glass. I missed my mark on this one and overshot, so I need to do a little repair. There's always that one guy. I can't really say how many times I've taken this apart and put it back together, but I think that's a really important part. Dry fitting when you're woodworking is making sure that everything goes together. When you do the final glue up, you don't want it to rack or to be off kilter and dry fitting, making sure everything slips together nicely is gonna ensure that that happens. Initially, I wasn't sure if I was going to have an open top or like a solid piece of wood. And I think the design I came up with has a lot more aesthetic beauty to it. Uh, but it also functionally allows me to allow ambient light through the top, but the, the sides of the top are wide enough so I can undermount light inside the cabinet for like evening when there's no ambient light. You can turn on the lighting and uh, I think it'll give a very beautiful effect.
When I'm building a display case, I'm building a piece of furniture. And it shouldn't, well, for me at least, it's not meant to be just a place to store something that I've built, you know, um, a model or a diorama. It, it actually should complement the diorama, just, just for me. Um, I'm not putting this on anyone else, I'm just saying in, in how I see it. Because I want the diorama to fit aesthetically within the display, and I want the display to complement the diorama. So it's a cohesive unit. Um, I'm building this display not for displaying something. I'm building this display to display the Tarawa diorama. And so that's a, a very distinct uh, difference than I think some of the other displays that I've seen people either buy or, or even build themselves for the, their creations. Um, this is part of the creation for me. This was my first sign, something may be amiss. So what I'm building here is a little brace. I mean, I knew I needed to secure this thing, but once I started doing this, I saw that I didn't get everything exactly lined up. But that didn't really matter because what I found was there was a torque issue. And when I'm turning it like this, there's plenty. But when I have to use the shaft to turn the turntable, that's when it all kind of fell apart. The overall design still needs a hand crank, so I just got to think this one out a little bit more. I typically wait to do the final glue up on any project until the very last moment. I'm, you know, I am making changes and, and I'm, I'm very organic. You know, a lot of these things that have happened over this build have happened in the moment. And I'm filming as I'm building. So when you see a week's build, that was that prior week's build. So when I'm gluing up, everything has to kind of coalesce into there's no other way forward until this is glued up. And that's where we are now. 